Jiang Zemin, who was uh, formerly uh, president of China um, in the period from 1993 to 2003, has died, uh, according to Chinese state media. Jiang Zemin passed away at the age of 96 uh, due to uh, leukemia and uh, multiple organ failure in Shanghai. Um, Jiang Zemin briefly, I think, um, you know, inter interesting at the moment. Jiang Zemin was uh, one of those um, party members who supported the suppression of the Tiananmen protesters. Um, but there are those who, who still, I think, look back on his period in power uh, with some fondness at this point, I think, as they compare it with where we are. Internationally. This, is, this is domestically high growth, compared to where we are now. Return of Hong Kong, the high growth period for the country as right, well. So right. they look at those as the golden... Yeah, so, so I mean, the return of Hong Kong had effectively <clears throat> been negotiated and happened uh, during his period in, yeah. in, in, uh, as president. And um, ultimately, growth rates were stronger through that period. Um, as the country w was still, I think, basking in the private sector drive that had been encouraged by uh, Deng Xiaoping, ultimately, and his, his commentary around uh, black cats and white cats. But the, uh, the, the, the moment that we're in right now, I think, is interesting because um, there is a lot of behind-the-scenes speculation about factionalism within the um, ruling party and to what degree um, the protests that we've seen at the moment may or may not have had some involvement from anti-Xi factions. And that is completely uh, unknowable at this point. And it is, you know, the fantasy in the hearts of those who would like to see a regime shift in, in China. But it has been speculated on as uh, regime, have many things as to why shift. there's so much coordination of uh, protests around COVID zero lockdowns. So the regime shift that people expect is different from a regime shift, i.e. change of president. The regime shift they could get is a change of policy at the CCP, not president. Isn't that, isn't that the, be the best that those who want to see change are going to get? It's unknowable. Um, but I think, yes, the, mo the most likely outcome at this stage, if anything, is that we continue to get just a gradual finessing of the COVID lockdown protocols for all the reasons we talked about at the beginning of the programme when you were mentioning the difficulty of running uh, a country on an autocratic basis and then you turning on policy that's been so core to the last three years. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.